isn't it working? My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episode 18. Ochako Uraraka always wanted people to be happy. Because of that... The true empath. She is it the tears? The girl's tears it is the tears. She really did notice the crying one. The crying twice. Look for the one that's crying. I love Uraraka and Deku on these parallel paths right now. Get the crap out of him, Sukiyomi! Yeah, Sukiyomi, I'm gonna get the crap out of him, for real. Look at them side by side. That's a great idea. Can't help herself. The mild mannered Tokoyami. I didn't expect this, honestly. Toe to toe with all for one. Temporarily. Did he just get. How did he get more handsome? That's not fair. He's gotten even younger. <laughs> We're also younger, yeah. We can't let this Oh, he's running. He's fleeing. Look at you fleeing. <laughs> Human, so predictable. Both men realized what was coming. Oh, uh, why and now? Surprisingly, each one thought it would benefit their side. Interesting. Give me the positive side first. What's this? Was he being controlled? This guy's not getting anywhere near Midoriya. Oh, that is amazing. It's a small world. Yeah, it is a small world because everyone's here. I can't decide if it would be really easy or really difficult to get G G Giganto Make Mania to answer a question. Shortly after hearing that Dobby was- Okay, we get to see it. I thought we were in the clear, but things aren't looking so- I'm waiting for Mineta to have his moment in this arc. Damn, this was a surprise attack. So why were they here? I see you, Mineta. He's a walking symbol of emotional trauma. We got all the villains warped out. Carry I'm also perfect for this. Maki is in the fight now. We won. No reason to risk my life brawling with desperate heroes. Those of you who haven't hung up your costumes have got more guts than brains. I figured the smartest move was to get in some attacks. What? Wait, I know how this turns out. <laughs> Why am I in suspense? Okay. That could have been really terrible. Wait a minute, is this that? Sludge thing. This is him, right? This is the villain that led to everything. This weakling was easier to hide in than the last kid. That middle school Yeah, it is him. That's crazy. The strong are the ones who bear righteous authority. Might is right. To me, where is my master? Is this to make you crying? Acid man, Alma. Acid? At a concentration and volume that can eat through Makia? She's pushing herself. Last time. I wasn't able to stop you. Oh, right, oh, right, 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 right. This is redemption. People died. God, imagine carrying that. I had Bakugo and Todoroki teach me some of their intense training techniques. So many, oh God, it's so amazing. For most people, that very same experience would have been the end. Similarly for Shinzo, his being here right now, I think is extra significant given how much we've been hearing from the villains about their pain. Because Shinzo had that label. He's not a heteromorph, but it's not exactly like he had the warmest welcome in society. The common thread is they chose their response. They chose who they wanted to show up as in these moments. Not because they didn't have obstacles, but despite or even because of the obstacles. That I think is one of the more salient points of the show that has been the most profound to me is how a lot of the difference comes down not to what they're born with or their circumstances, but to how they frame their experiences. I feel the emotional or, or mental pull of the reasoning of a lot of the villains, where they're convinced they're the realists, and it does feel that way. Taking a negative stance for one reason or another, probably because it's, it's more critical to survival, has a way of having more impact, and it gets disguised as the logical. How much time did I waste thinking the, the bleakest outlooks I could come up with were me being logical and reasonable, when actually it was, it was the opposite. Truth, I think, is the goal, and you don't want to embrace a beautiful lie, but in the cases where the thing itself Itself lies in your hands and is in your control. There is nothing more reasonable about taking a terrible viewpoint. And in fact, maybe therein lies the seeds of the beautiful viewpoint, which is I'm going to do everything I can that is in my power to do. External circumstances are not death sentences, they are challenges. The negativity that does in fact exist does not speak to the potential of what can be, or more critically, what I can be. That seems to make the difference. What can I do for now? I never want to be helpless again. I want to protect what's important to me. Yeah, why? What are you doing it for? This time. Is this the end of Sludge Villain? Wait, why do you think I'm an idiot? I just gotta lay low until we win and... Coward. Did he just get controlled? Oh, I forgot it's not even a question. It's like any response. You see, I'm weak, so I understand fear. And it's that same weakness that makes me form strong bonds and cling to other people. That's how your side works too, isn't it? That's one thing we all have in common. That's true, and we do it better. He is unstoppable. We gotta work for that. Rusty, 
Boom. Done. Swat away these pesky flies. Make, please specify who you mean. <laughs> this is amazing. This is this changes everything. You got a second chance. Did you get to Makia? They learned from the mistakes. Now because I was useless. Yeah, he was the one who came in that time. I'm glad I could pay you back. She did her part. You never owed me anything. Don't you? Of course know not. You've always been my hero. Aw, do you think love can bloom on the battlefield? We'll start readying the captured enemies for transport. <laughs> Just like I don't know, uh, there are a lot of crazy ways that this show came so full circle. It's fitting that the slime villain is in this. I guess this is what triggered the thought. Wow, giant lady, another one. Like I never would have guessed. You didn't know who it's who would be here at the end. Who the heroes would be when things got real. Now we know. He might just wipe out Shigetomakia though. Well earned title card and arc. Now I understand. It's a lot to deal with. How Yama family was able to deceive me. A manipulation quirk. It's sort of hard, like, to adjust to this new voice. It sounds a lot less condescending. Watch out, you two! You need some kind of guard there. Over Makia if he gets hit by that blast. Right. Makia's unleashed. Kirishima. I've been looking for you. There's something I must know. Answer me! Why did you leave me behind, master? Is this actually Jugendam Makia talking? Is Shinzo forcing him to speak? I don't think so. I think this is coming from the heart. My successor will seek you out one day when the moment is right. This is coming back to bite all for one. He the betrayal. Your he is crying. Had your scent. Look for the crying Jugantomachia. I knew that he was the one you said would find me. Who I should obey. He was loyal. You ran away and left me all alone. Abandon me. He's the same as all of us, somehow. Why have you forsaken me? Haven't I served you well all these years? This is where manipulation comes back to bite you. It's somewhat obvious that when someone finds out they've been taken advantage of, that they're bitter and they lose trust in you. What I think is thought about less is how that's true on all sides of the spectrum. Even if you really love the person and care about them and want the best for them and are not taking from them selfishly, to use deception to guide them will backfire in the long run. When someone finds out what you said wasn't true or was deceptive, even if it was for their good or for some other good cause, like I don't have time to explain this, this issue is really important, I'm gonna use extremes to get people to do good things. Well, they figure that out, they find out this isn't true and they get pushed away from what may have originally been a good faith desire to listen, to understand and do things well. And maybe other people who actually are dealing with them in a truthful and respectful way are then seen as a potential threat. The sense of risk of trusting people is heightened. Things get pushed out farther and farther to extremes where nothing can be trusted, where people are just out to get you. I believed you. I trusted you. How could you do this to me? How could you tell me something that wasn't true? I just feel stupid. Didn't I do what I was supposed to do? Didn't I do exactly what people told me would lead to my happiness and success? Wasn't I fighting a good fight? How did it come to this? God, people are terrible. His uncontrollable rage is our best weapon right now. I'm basically just along for the ride. That's an interesting development. I've been told that I have a villain's power. But yeah, speaking of which, limitations. Try to get manipulate someone's heart. All for one to answer a question. Sounds like not even your loyal henchmen want to see you prevail. He's burned a lot of bridges. The truth is coming to the light. Right, but ultimate power, that's a problem. And I remember what he used to be like. Just a year ago, he was on edge, frightened by everything. Yes, yeah, it's just a year. <laughs> Random thought just occurred to me. I think I found a way to criticize school in every single reaction series I've ever done, except My Hero Academia. UA understands. Obviously, a lot of the students' growth comes from entering the real world and having these experiences. But one of the things that makes UA special is that's the point from the beginning, and they're very connected to that goal. My own mother was seriously injured. They were only able to wreak havoc on such a scale because of your- There is no one that doesn't make a comeback. I wasn't there are no small parts. That day. I was mad. Maybe that's why this fight feels so personal to me. I mean, this is also a heroic journey. This is heroism as it occurs in, in daily life. It's like just not giving in to the easy answers or the destructive ones. Taking responsibility for yourself, what you do with your feelings. Maybe that sounds stupid or obvious. It's definitely not glamorous, but that is a big way it's accessible immediately to everyone. Well, the station shut down and we're not getting paid. If this wasn't personal, we wouldn't be here. Well, depending on how things go, there might not be any use for money anymore anyway. I don't just mean Izuku Midoriya. I mean all of them. Someone's got that live stream. Saw their peers throw in the towel. 
And still they chose to take a stand on the battlefield. Public perception, image, it's sort of low stakes compared to what they have access to. I'll report what happens. Their victory or their defeat. It's amazing that Gentle ends up becoming the, the one. connected we are, the smaller the world It's so becomes. perfect. Right when he's not asking for it. Never heard of Japan. <laughs> American spotted. <laughs> it's the country that All Might lives in. Soft power. Soft power of fighting the good fight, undoing the damage that the governments do, opening people's perceptions, creating bridges between people's hearts all over the world. Oh, sorry, I'm not able to do much, but holds you in the air. You the being here is <laughs> everything, yeah. Boulders light faster. Just your presence. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. No, 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 no. She's okay. She's fine. When a dog bites its owner, it must be put down. Am I being influenced by the other me? And the younger I get, the harder it is to control my dark urges. Weird, he's reverting to some other state. The shadow bird was formidable. Tell me we weakened him, right? You've already done enough. Oh. You got a blade in. Fierce wings. Look what's become of it. But Hawks looks better to me now than he ever has. Yeah. He just Every doesn't take damage. I get hurt, rewind works faster than it does. Rewind. There he is. This is your chance. That was everything to me. That one sticky ball. You think the dealing dark shadow will help you? It'll just turn you into a cringy emo edgelord. <laughs> just please. Don't separate Tokoyami and Dark Shadow! You make my friends cry! I love you, Mineta. My, how the weak howl. There's nothing At weak about point, this. Every second counts. That is the ultimate hero. And I'm saying that unironically. He's just one of them. There is no separation. There's a point at which you're not sure, right? Like if villains emerge and they have these grand speeches and they hit you with salient points about the actual real treachery of the world, how things tend to revert to a certain mean. Things get really great and they just swing back negative again. We can't stamp out evil. Even in a very happy, flourishing society, there's an evil presence lurking, waiting to emerge its ugly head. But then you keep looking and you watch what the heroes are doing. You watch what all of them are doing. I mean, in this episode alone, there are already countless examples of it. And for all for one to look at that, and to say it's the weak, you're like, oh, actually, he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't see it. It's not insight. It's ignorance. <laughs> Looks like Mineta saved Hawks. And you couldn't save anything, heroes. <laughs> We're still alive to fight. You're wrong. <gasps> we still have hope. Right, I'm with Hawks. Which doesn't mean they won't die or lose. It's weird, it's almost like simultaneously there's something else at stake. It would still be hard for me to say they were beaten. Dying, losing, failing is not the same thing critically as being defeated. At least not in this grand scale of things where it really counts. And Hope I think sums it up nicely, going back to the framework thing. They don't know the outcome, but they do know what it means to them and they can see the things that they can do. And so those things are the only things they focus on. There is no reasoning themselves out of it. There is no convincing themselves that All For One is right. They see something that All For One doesn't. Something that maybe he can't yet. And somehow even even like them crawling shirtless on the ground in scraps, they feel stronger to me than he does. All for one has the biggest crash in the lesson of it's not the quirk, it's the person. And in the areas of things they cannot control and cannot foresee, they substitute with the best possible thing, which in this season has been repeatedly put forth as hope. Looks like Hawks is now quirkless, but like knowing Hawks and knowing what, what they've been through, there's a certain area in which it doesn't take anything away that's significant. What he's missing is it's not the power. That is becoming increasingly clear. I mean, even Mineta, finally. I, this is such a long awaited moment for me. Like I've been such a, Mineta fan because of the underdog that he is and because I found his backstory surprisingly relatable and one of the most human ones I saw early on who nevertheless is in the student group and you know he must belong there awkward comic relief elements aside for him to be on the verge of death crawling towards all for one of all people still being a smart ass actually affecting the fight slowing him down almost as if he was scaring him off it's beautiful it's not as good as it could be it's also not as bad as it could be all for one's body is getting better but his world is crumbling he's built such flimsy supports this was touched on in the conversation with Mina with some of the other isn't that what real strength is? It's being strong yourself and then linking yourself to other strong people. All for one's links are quickly decaying. He's gonna find himself really powerful, really young, and really alone. <laughs>